Listen to Dagny instigating my lamp habit. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. I'm the Crazy Wine Lady and welcome to my channel. Well, today we are at Mother Tucker's Antiques. Michael was just here. We're following in his footsteps. We did not watch this video because we didn't want we did not want the spoilers. So we're gonna go in and see what we can find that we can buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. <laughs> Dagny is dancing, and I just spotted this owl. This is a Woodland Haven, and this goat owl, super cute. Twenty four dollars. I really like him. It's cute. What else do I have here? Ooh, Hager. That is nice. I don't think I've seen that one before. Unfortunately, we've got a little boo-boo there. Look at this little napkin holder thingy here. They've got 40% off. What? Murano, Laticino. Oh, it's firm. I just noticed it's firm. $56 firm, so it's not 40% off, so we might skip that one. Oh, you see the fairy light over there? Yes, I did. I saw a link. <laughs> These look to be sitting striker. Are they? They're fused glass. Oh, they're Peggy Carr. It's a nice Peggy Carr. And the vase. Vintage blue. Vase. Oh, I like this. What is this thing? It looks kind of like a fish tank. Napkin holder. I would put a fish in there. <laughs> a zoo. I think that's a fish tank. How much do they want for it? $16. I like that. I just noticed this kitty right here. $12 for the kitty. It's got a number there on the bottom. It is super sweet. I mean, I could, I probably could, but since we're so early here in our trip, I just don't know. This guy on the other hand, <laughs> just kidding. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, he's cute. I guess he's cloth teak. I have seen these guys. I've never seen the pig before, but I've seen the cloth teak figurines before. I think we've bought a Santa before. Um, this is the kitties, right? Yeah, there it is. The cat's meow. Cat's meow. Only $2 a piece. That's a pretty good price for those. That's not bad at all. These are redware. Are those row? What are those marked? Can't really read them that well. Redware pottery, and everything in this booth is 20% off, which is nice. Oh, look at this hippo. Oh my gosh, it's so, it's so cute. What is it? We gotta pull that out. It's like the, the epitome of a house hippo. $24 meadow hippo, 20% off. So that's like about five bucks off, it's under $20. And it is so sweet and colorful. You guys know me in the colors. I'm such a sucker. Obviously, it's not... I don't think it would be vintage. I think this is more contemporary, but... I love how sweet it is. I think we might have to bring this up front. That's adorable. Look at Dagny down there. Filming. She's committed. She's like, I have to get down low and get the shot. <laughs> oh boy, look at this. Do they have ceramic art studio? I like this piece. This is a neat glass piece. Purple vintage vase. This whole booth is 20% off. Let's see if anything catches our eye in here. These are really bright and neon and fun. And...
I like that box down there. Wooden box. Let's see here. What kind of box is it? Oh, I think it's maybe for recipe cards or something. I love these wooden boxes. Oops. Oh, you see that catch? I almost dropped her, but I caught her. All right. We've got Garfield. Garfield's wife. Some singing angels. Car this is more modern carnival glass. Oh! Is that Talavera pottery? It just says Hecho y Mexico. It looks like Talavera. Look at it. It's fantastic. Look how pretty you are. I love turtles. I have a derpy turtle you now. Do have a derpy turtle. <laughs> Hey you, drippy turtle. Oh, there you are. Hello. Hi. What are you doing? Mmm, I see a little owl here. He is alabaster. I didn't think he was gonna be alabaster. Also a fishy. Glass fish. Hmm. I just don't know about the fish. What else do we have here? I've got some nice pieces here. Uh, this, I believe that these were samplers for a paint company. Um, I always thought these were made by Morton Pottery, but I've found there are other examples of companies that made these. But, um most prominent article I could find was that they were made as for Martin Pottery as paint samplers for um, a specific paint company and they were dipped in these paints and I was like here here's this uh, freebie from this paint company bread bee I don't think I've heard of that one before let's check that out bread bee England I like the lines of that with the three handles $38, 20% off. Hmm. I just, I'm not familiar with the brand and it makes me nervous, I guess. <laughs> Who burnt the tablecloth? We bought one of these uh, not too long ago and I forget what the saying on it said, but it did have uh, a saying on it. Cigarettes here, please, I think is what it said. And I got it at the Goodwill. And it sold pretty well. So I might buy this one, because I think the last one sold pretty well. And it is 20% off. Right? Any items marked. There you go. So that's $2 off. I think this is a cat bowl. Retro style. Atomic cat dish. Catherine's collectibles. It's a fun design. Hand blown. Hand painted. $5. It's got that imperfection there. Mm, five dollars, twenty percent off. Right there, unless, unless marked firm. I like that. Just noticed this dish right here. They've got it marked as Lion Head Marmalade. I believe that is a Gillander and Sons. I don't know if they reproduce the Gillander and Sons. I know that they. Uh, they reproduced the Pioneer pattern piece. I'm not sure if it's called Pioneer, um, but that's one I know that was reproduced. And I don't know if this Lion one was ever reproduced. But at 45, even though it, it's not marked to Gillander and Sons, that's probably about, about retail. This is a neat tramp art box. You guys know all about the tramp art boxes. $95 on that. It's 
pretty neat. I love these guys. These are really cool. $35. I think what I like about them is they've actually got this, like, weird thing that, like, I don't know how else to describe it. It kind of, like, hangs down. <laughs> it's different. You know, this one just kind of has a regular opening, but this one kind of drapes. And I like that about it. And it is hand-painted as well. So the pair of them, 35 And, oh, look. 50% off of 35 I guess this whole booth is 50% off, so I may grab those. Let's see here if we can... Uh, we need that finger. Okay, there we go. Now these up here are... Uh, made to look like the Royal Dalton Balloon Vendors, however they are not. That is one mistake I made very early on in my picking adventures. <laughs> I bought some supposed Royal Dalton Balloon figurines and they were chalkware, so I should have known. But, um, I didn't. That's a nice piece down there too, but my hands are full. I may have to go, uh, go empty front. Also, I lost Dagny. I don't know where she went. Well, I was going to wait till I could get a key, but then it occurred to me that these are open and I could just reach right in and get what I want. I love that. Um, these mat here are Ital Italia. I just can't pronounce it. They're Finnish glass. Like Finland Finnish glass. And uh, they've got, I guess not really all the sizes. This is a vase, an ice vase. These are candlesticks. So it's not really the whole graduated set. But um, over here, we've got fruits. They've got some really nice glass in here. I'm not applying. I'm a little excited about it. Chalet. Oh, we look at it. It's so beautiful. They've got it marked as chalet, right? Yes, they've got it marked as chalet. I have a hard time sometimes with the chalet and the bohemian. This is amazing. Unfortunately, you can see its feathers there on the side are damaged. But here, well, no, I lied. Damaged there as well. That's such a bummer. It's marked for $20. It's just such a beautiful piece. It's such a shame that it was damaged. I wish there was a way to repair glass pieces like this because they're so magnificent and it's such a shame. It bums me out. All right, um, well, I'm gonna shut this because I'm bummed, I'm bummed about this one. Also, the polar bear is pretty nice, but I'm gonna pounce on the polar bear. This piece I'm just not that sure of. I don't know if it's Shelley or if it is Chuck. Retro pair of glass stripe lamps. There's a pair of them. And the other one is actually a little bit bigger than this one. And I believe... I don't know. I can't tell. I want to say that they're Murano. I believe the color is in the glass and not applied to the inside. They're really nice lamps. I think, um, maybe I'll set this one here. And let's pull the other one down. Ah, oh, this one apparently needs to be rewired. No. Listen to Dagny instigating my lamp habit. <laughs> so we've got these two here. They're two different sizes. And I mean, I, I guess I could re I mean, I can rewire it. It won't take me very long. I just have to buy a rewiring kit. Dagny, did you see the fish? Oh, I didn't see that. I saw all these fish here. Oh, you didn't see this enormous glass fish? Or this little bunny rabbit? 
I know who would like that. <laughs> I'm surprised it's still here. I know, me too. It's only $5. Five dollars. Five dollars and 20% off. Come on now. Michael. You need that. It's still here. You forgot it. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll buy it for you. I'll bring it the next time I see you. <laughs> what is this though, for real? I need to get a better look at that. All right, how heavy is it? It's not that heavy. There's no markings on it. It's not that heavy. I don't know, how much is it? $90. I don't think I can do it at 90 bucks and still flip a profit. I think the fish will have to live here for a little while longer. Sorry, fishy. But rabbit, I'll take you. This is the um, onion, blue onion pattern, I believe. I don't even know what's happening here, but I like it. Meow 1983. There is a cat in a trash can. <laughs> and then there's another cat that's like, I wish I was in the trash can. How come you always get to be in the I know. Trash can? I feel like that's what's happening right now. It's only two dollars. For real. And look. Oh. It's and only it's a dollar. There you go. It's practically her angel. This is like you. That's like me, yes. Always ready to go to school with a shiny apple for the day. That's doctor. definitely not me. I'm ready me to go to ten, school. Ten years it took me to get my associate's degree. <laughs> definitely not me. It took me ten years to get my uh, whatever you get. <laughs> whatever you get. <laughs> whatever I got, that's what it took me ten years, too. Well, I made a promise to film the wrestling figurines. So, here we are. I don't think I've ever seen this many wrestling figurines in one place. And they are pretty cool, but I don't know anything about wrestling figurines. Or even wrestling. I don't even think I was allowed to watch wrestling as a kid. If you weren't allowed to watch the Smurfs, I can't imagine your parents were like, yeah, you can watch WWE. Yeah, no, I wasn't allowed to watch the Smurfs, so it was probably not a thing. Or the Simpsons, I wasn't allowed to watch that either. But, um, yeah, 10% off here. They've got The Edge and Gronkowski. I thought that he played football. I could be wrong. <laughs> anyway, there's some cool figurines here. Isn't that me? So you guys know I usually pick up these weird art pottery cameras from time to time, but this is a very strange art piece. This camera. There's an eyeball in it. It is signed, Don Rea, 2008. I like it. It's weird enough that I like it. Also, did you see these little mice? One of them has a G-U-N. We don't say that oh. on YouTube. Well, they're getting after that cat. They've had enough. They have. Or maybe it's this wily coyote over here giving them the side eye. They, they're done with that. There's a lot of danger going around. <laughs> I think I must have missed this booth because I'm checking this guy out back here. Yes, he is a clown. Napco Santa Circus Clown. $90 firm. My goodness, he is really cool though, isn't he? I'm not sure where Santa comes into play. I mean, yeah, I guess he has a Santa hat. Okay. 30 per, no, not 30, it's firm. He's really cool. Wait, are those the cups that go with it? What? Oh my goodness, it comes with all the cups? 2 cans are my favorite. Um. 90 though, I don't know if I can do 90 on that. Oh my gosh. All right, so as much as I am in love with this Santa Claus Dagny and I just looked him up and I don't think that there is enough room there for me to make a profit, so. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to leave him behind, but he is really super cool, especially since he comes with all of these 
really cool little cups. I mean, that's a pretty amazing. If I was buying it for myself, absolutely, but for resale, I just can't do it. But that's really neat. All right, well our total spend here at Mother Tucker's was $116. Now, while we were here, we did run into Tommy, who has become a friend of ours from over at the Mad Hatter and also from all around. He's got booths all over the place. And we run into him all the time. We bought a lot of glass from him. He's got the glass booth at Mad Hatter that is one of my favorite booths. And he invited us to go check out his store, shop, place. Yeah. Not open to the public, but he invited us to come and check it out. So that's what we're going to do next, but you guys will have to wait for that video and we'll see you then. Later. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.